that your, your, uh, voters queued for hours to have their say. A record turnout in the state, proud to be first to pick a president. And it was thought that turnout would help one particular Republican candidate. But as the results trickled through, it was not to be a win for the businessman. And he wasn't his usual bombastic self, although he still has a love for Iowa. We will go on to get the Republican nomination and we will go on to easily beat Hillary or Bernie or whoever the hell they throw up there. Iowa, we love you. We thank you. You're special. We will be back many, many times. In fact, I think I might come here and buy a farm. I love it, okay? Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. The other anti-establishment candidate, Ted Cruz, took top spot, ensuring he'll be in the race for some time to come. Tonight is a victory for millions of Americans who have shouldered the burden of seven years of Washington deals run amok. Tonight is a victory for every American who's watched in dismay as career politicians in Washington, in both parties, refuse to listen and too often fail to keep their commitments to the people. But the smart money is now on this man, Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Third was all he needed to appear like a strong potential for nominee. The Democrat race couldn't be tighter. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders were neck and neck all night, a fight that might feel familiar for the former Secretary of State. I am honored to stand in the long line of American reformers who make up our minds that the status quo is not good enough, that standing still is not an option, and that brings people together to find ways forward that will improve the lives of Americans. And the reason that we have done so well here in Iowa, the reason I believe we're going to do so well in New Hampshire and in the other states that follow, the reason is the American people are saying no to a rigged economy. For both sides, this is the most unpredictable race in decades. One state down, many more to go in the long race to the White House.